very funny moment last night before President Trump's interview with Sean Hannity. Sean had Leo Terrell, who is a nut, and I say that in uh, in a loving way. I've watched Leo. I I think I've been on on lot on TV with him before. I think years ago I've done I've done uh, debate se- segments with him on Fox News. He's been around forever. They always describe him as a civil rights attorney, and he all he used to r- rip his earpiece out of his ear and storm off of the studio and yell and scream and carry on. And and he's he used to be a, a a big liberal Democrat, but as you just heard, he's now Leo Terrell 2.0, and now is coming over to the other side and is going to fight for Donald Trump, vote for Donald Trump. He's livid at the Democrat Party, and believes that the president should do what he's doing, and that's continue to send in federal law enforcement to these cities uh, that Nancy Pelosi is calling stormtroopers. Federal law enforcement officers being called Nazis, the Gestapo, stormtroopers by the leading Democrat Party figures. And make no mistake, they're all trying to play to the far-left, radical, violent, dangerous base. The far-lefties, the crazies, the anarchists. And this is terrible for Portland. It's terrible for Minneapolis. It's terrible for Baltimore. It's terrible for New York. It's terrible for normal people who live in all these cities. It is wonderful for the side of of law and order and trying to uh, instill peace and and lawfulness. And we're, we're witnessing in real time just how radical the Democrats have become. And Biden's right on board with this. Uh, Biden has talked about that's that was the question that he got last week when he said he wanted to de- to defund the police. Later, trying to walk it back, saying, "Well, we mean reallocate funds." No, no. You told the interviewer, "Yes, you want funds taken from police officers." You know it. The interviewer know, knew it. The world knows it. Nancy Pelosi calls federal law enforcement officers. Stormtroopers. Stormtroopers are cops. These are our law enforcement. These are the men and women in blue. These are the ones that that hold the line. These are the ones that are the difference between chaos and anarchy and lawfulness. And that's where they are. And Americans have to be seeing this. Americans have to be witnessing this. Americans have to be experiencing this. I mean, again, we go from her calling the president of the United States um, responsible for a worldwide pandemic. She called it the Trump virus. That was that, and that's earlier in the week. Pelosi's having a heck of a week. This is the Speaker of the House. This is the most powerful member of today's Democratic Party. So she goes from calling coronavirus the Trump virus to this. The use of stormtroopers under the guise of law and order is a tactic that is not uh, yeah. appropriate to our country in any way. It is so un-American yeah. what has happened. It is so in keeping with third world countries and dictatorships. You haul somebody off the streets, don't tell them who you are, why you're doing it, etc. It's also unconstitutional. Now that's congressional leadership. That's Pelosi and Schumer. Schumer wants to become the Senate Majority Leader. He wants to, desperately wants the, the Democrats to take control of the Senate. Pelosi desperately wants to retain her speakership. She desperately wants Democrats to hold the House. They keep it up. If they keep it up, and I think they will, I like our chances. I like our chances of taking back the House. I like our chances of holding the Senate. I like our chances of holding the presidency. Because these people are bat crap crazy. They're calling, and and this impacts every single police officer, sheriff's deputy, constable, border patrol officer. This can agent. This control. This this speaks to every single one of you. Democrats think you're stormtroopers. 